Hey there everyone, my name is Earth Dovalia and welcome back to another Dead by Daylight news video. Today we're going to be going over a few things. First of all though, we've got the player satisfaction survey. So as you guys know, every couple of months the developers will put out a survey for everybody to go and interact with, give their feedback on most recent chapters, and a handful of other questions. And usually a lot of the questions that get asked tend to impact upcoming features in future updates, which is why I thought this one was so interesting. First of all, if you want to fill out the survey for yourself, you can find a link to it over on their Twitter at twitter.com forward slash deadbybehavior, that's B-H-V-R. And one of the questions in the survey asks what other horror games you have played. And there's a big long list of a bunch of different horror games. Now there's no telling for certain what this question is for, but it does make me wonder whether this would influence upcoming licenses. We have a whole bunch of names in this list that I think a lot of people would be really excited about. For example, we've got Five Nights at Freddy's, Friday the 13th, Fear, Layers of Fear, Left for Dead, PT, Outlast, Phasmophobia, as well as Until Dawn and the Dark Pictures Anthology, just to name a few, and also one that got me really excited, Alien Isolation. Now of course this could just be a question to gauge what other games people play so they can take inspiration from them, but honestly who knows for certain. We also have some questions about the map reworks, and they do ask whether this adds to a horror theme. Now a lot of the questions in this survey do sort of focus around like, do you think Dead by Daylight's a horror game? Do you think that we're up in the horror atmosphere? So that signals to me that potentially they're looking at making the game more horror atmospheric. And also we have some questions regarding the store and merchandise, and they ask which characters we'd like to see on more merchandise. Surprisingly, including licensed characters like Laurie Strode and the Cannibal. So I don't know, maybe we can see more DVD merchandise that has licensed characters on it. They've also asked what in-game cosmetics we would like for other characters, and again we could see some licensed characters on that list, like the Nightmare, the Cannibal, and the Pig. So I think this does sort of open up the possibilities of us getting more cosmetics for the likes of Freddy Krueger, which I think is quite exciting. Anyway, now on to some sale news. There is a January sale on right now. This is across PlayStation and Xbox, with 50% off the base game and up to 50% off each of the DLCs. I'm putting the details on the screen for you now so you can see how long this sale lasts. And of course, if you've been holding off on getting some DLCs, now would probably be a good time to get them. Anyway, that is going to be all from this one video for me. As always, my social medias are linked in the description below, and I want to thank you all for making it this far in. See you later, guys.